Can I have your attention, please? The Cincinnati Picker is attending your neighborhood garage sale today. I repeat, the Cincinnati Picker is attending your garage sales. To make this as quick and painless as possible, please accept any and all offers he makes on your merchandise. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, first sale of the day. This is an individual listing. It was supposed to start at 7.30. It is now 7.05. So we're gonna see if they're open. Well, they're not open yet, but I bet you that they'll open very, very soon. At least I'm hoping anyways. Do you have, um, do you know if you have like the system that goes with it? Oh, no, no, I Just don't. Just these? I don't have that, no, uh-uh. Just what do you want for him? Well, I don't know. How about two bucks? Well, that was a fantastic sale. I tried getting a little bit of footage in the garage, but it was really dark, so it might not turn out very well. But when I asked if she had video games, right away she says, oh yeah, I've got these. And it was in the bottom of her trunk. She had four boxed NES games and a boxed ColecoVision game. And she said, yeah, just give me two bucks for all of them. And I'm like, okay, yep. I'm not gonna argue with you there. And she had some cool train stuff too from the 70s. Uh, it was Lionel and I think it was the O Gauge. I don't think it's super valuable stuff, but it was so cheap that I just went ahead and bought it. I ended up paying like maybe $40 for like eight or nine boxed train pieces and a whole bunch of track in the box. So I think I should do pretty good with that stuff too. I got a few minutes to kill between sales. There's a neighborhood sale starting at nine that I'm gonna wind up getting to about 45 minutes early, but usually there's some people opening up early. I am at McDonald's now, grabbing a quick bite to eat, and I'm gonna do something that I like to do every once in a while. Check this out. 518. Right. And can I pay for the person behind me too? Sure, uh, just give me one second please. Okay, thanks. And the third total is 279. That is so sweet. Don't worry about the change. All right, thank you, you have bet. a nice day. Tell them I said have a nice day too, okay. thanks. Well, the person behind me just got a free breakfast, so hopefully that makes their day just a little bit better. So yeah, next time you're in a fast food drive-through, buy the person's meal behind you. Feels good. All right, I'm at like a parking lot sale now. Basically the whole community just set up in this parking lot and they're selling stuff. Got my Ikea bag, let's do this. How much your unicycle? I'm up. Yeah. Five bucks. What's the story on this guy? Well, I got it at Goodwill years and years and years ago. Yeah. And uh, we were going to hang it on our barn, and we never did. So it just where did it come from? Like, you know, where it was hanging from? Goodwill. Oh, it's double sided too. That's neat. Yeah. Oh. And it had electric at one time. Yeah, it's really so, cool. Huh. Would you take twenty for it? I'll take thirty. Thirty. Well, I think I jinxed myself with that Ikea bag. I ended up only finding like two or three things. Uh, I did get a pink putter for a dollar, and I pulled the trigger on that huge double-sided Santa sign. It's a little rough, but I think it'll clean up pretty nice. I paid 30 bucks. I have no idea what it's worth, but it's cool, so I bought it. Just picked some stuff up from that sale right there. Got this comic book for a dollar. Might not be worth anything. I just kind of thought it was cool. It's NFL and Spider-Man. Then I got the Small World Rhythm Clock. I never heard of that brand. But I looked it up. Sold prices are looking pretty good. There's $225, $199. Seems like they've got some pretty good value to them. She was asking $30. I uh, countered with $20 and we settled on $25. Awesome bike. What would you want for all of it? 20 bucks. I'll do that. I just picked up this Philadelphia Eagles football helmet for $4. Uh, I think I could probably sell it for 30 or 40. I'm done with that neighborhood sale and it's really good in there. Check this out. I got stuff back there. I got stuff over here. Just a lot of really good finds. 
Now I'm headed to a church sale that looked really good. It actually ends at 12. It's like 10.45 right now. So a lot of the best stuff might be picked over, but I'm hoping to still find some stuff. I got a pretty awesome find in that church, but I had to pay up for it. Check it out. This is a Boss Loop Station, okay? So you put in um, guitar cables, hook it up to a guitar, and you can play a riff and it'll loop it. Um, he was asking 150, and they are raising money for a mission trip, so I, I wasn't talking them down on anything. So I just paid the 150, and I think I can sell it locally for either 225 or 250 not huge money but there's money to be made there i really don't want to sell this thing on ebay because one the fees two higher price items like that sometimes issues with returns and scams and things like that and music stuff always does really well locally so i don't think i'll have a whole lot of trouble selling this thing well i'm done for the day and i found a lot of really great stuff i'm really excited about some of these things i'm gonna head home now I doubt that I'll have time to pull all this out and show everything to you guys. It might be tomorrow or Monday even, but I will pull out what I haven't showed you already that I bought and get a closer look at it. All right, guys, back home. It's actually Sunday now, but I'm gonna pull some of this stuff out and show you guys everything I got. Here's those video games I got at that one sale. Uh, Kung Fu for the NES did not have the box, but these three did. So here's baseball. Golf, Super Mario Brothers. They're not really valuable games, but the box and hopefully the manual inside is really what will add the value. So yeah, I've got the box. I don't see the manual, but the foam is in there. So the box turns this from like a three or four dollar game probably to a fifteen dollar game. I haven't looked up comps yet, but that's probably what I'm guessing that's going to be. And then. Jungle Hut for Coleco. I haven't looked that one up. I haven't sold a lot of Coleco, but I think there's probably a market for it. All five of those, $2. I got a lot of train stuff at that sale, too. So this is all pretty much 1970s. Uh, it's all Lionel. I think it's all O-Gage. And she pretty much had the boxes for everything. So here is like a crossing gate for $3. Little road signs. Some of this little stuff, instead of doing an individual, I might... A lot of together, it just depends on what the values are. Here's a station platform. Looks like part of the box is cut. Automatic gate man. The fact that this stuff has the boxes, I think, is what's really gonna help it sell. Because in general, I think train stuff has to be pretty old to have some serious value. I mean, obviously, I don't know that much about it, but from when I've tried selling train stuff in the past, uh, a lot of it's just kind of a dime a dozen. Here is train car. That was five bucks. Uh, lighted bumpers, it was $1.50. And then I got a big box of track in the box that I'll show you guys too. Got this L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Cell Renewal, renewal for $3. It uh, doesn't expire until July 2020. And I got this Bengals hat for a dollar. Like corduroy, I think. All right, here's that track. She wanted 15 for this, I got it for 10 all the other train stuff I paid full price for. The Rock Island Line. Honestly, I don't think track is worth a whole lot, but I think the value is in the box. Here's that pink putter I got for a dollar. It's the Ping Zing 5. Probably a $20 putter without looking it up, just a guess. But I wanna show you guys something about these putters. So if you ever find ping putters, the vintage ones, they'll have a stamp inside and it'll say where it's made. This one says Phoenix, Arizona. Pretty much all the ones you find are gonna be stamped Phoenix, Arizona, but there are some rare ones out there that will say Scottsdale. If it's stamped Scottsdale, Arizona, that was where their first plant was, and there aren't very many of them out there. I think it's the Ping Answer Putter, A-N-S-E-R. I think it was only those that were made in Scottsdale, but anytime you see a Ping Putter, Always check that first before you sell it because if you do find an original Ping Scottsdale putter, let's see what they're going for now. 
it's been a while since I've looked them up. All right, so I'm looking at prices, 900, 975, 900, 516, $500. They're pretty darn valuable. So always look to see what city it was made, Phoenix or Scottsdale. I've personally never found an original Scottsdale ping, but I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, here's the rest of that train stuff. Here is a Lionel rolling stock and a Lionel operating mail car. Here is a girder bridge. Um, I've done a lot with different brands of train. I think Lionel is one of the best. It's like probably top two, top three as far as resale value goes. This little Olympus voice recorder for 25 cents. I've done pretty good with those in the past. I got this smart points calculator for a dollar. Got this shark vacuum for five, and it's still in the original packing. They never opened it up and used it. Got this set of five ACDC glasses for a dollar. I just thought that was super cool. Even if I don't sell it, it might be a cool gift. Then I got five Cincy wax warmers for 25 bucks. She wanted 10 a piece, I offered 20 for all of them, and we settled on 25. And I think I can probably get an average of $25 each for these things. Some of them, like when they're retired, they kind of go up in value, like this one was August 2017. That one was January 2017. I don't know a lot about those, but I've sold some in the past and had some pretty good luck. Picked up the Scrabble game for a dollar. What I like to do with these is part it out. So I will take out the tiles and the little tray pieces and all that. And I just hoard them up. So I just sold like 1,500 tiles, I think, maybe a month or two ago. And I had maybe 15 to 20 bucks in it. I think I sold it for like 60, 65 bucks plus shipping. Got this Fisher Price Easy Play Railway. She was asking five, but I got for three. And it's never been opened. Got this Nylant. CB1 truck for a dollar. Got a pack of Chamberlain garage door opener sensors for three dollars. I'm thinking somebody's got to be looking for these. So it's just parts to a garage door opener, but I would think there's a market for this stuff. Got this Prince tennis racket for three dollars. It is an 03 hybrid Hornet, probably worth 20, maybe 25. I got this vintage Adidas, I think it's like a track jacket. I paid a dollar for it. It's kind of got the Adidas logo on the sleeve. Maybe 80s if I had to guess. I really don't know a lot about vintage clothing. Oh, that stinks. The uh, zipper handle's kind of broken off a little bit. I got this ink at that church sale for $4. And it doesn't expire until January 2020. This one's, it actually doesn't even say expire, it says warranty ends. So, definitely got another year or so with that. I always do good with ink. And I got this Pride and Prejudice uh, DVD book set for $3. Looks like it's selling for about 15 or 20. Got this wireless weather station, new in the box for $3. Got a couple um, golf discs for disc golf for 50 cents each. They're champion level. So, new these things go for about between like 15 to $20. So. I might just sell them together and try to get like 15 bucks plus shipping on them. Got this digital optical cable for a dollar, new in the packaging. Got some vintage rollerblade brand brake pads. I think I paid a buck for these. Got Gears of War for Xbox One for a dollar. I got this Rawlings fast pitch glove for a dollar. Got this West Wing sealed DVD set for a buck. Okay, this right here. I was at a sale and I asked the guy if he had video games and he said that he had his old N64 that he'd want to sell. So he grabbed a tub and started pulling it out. I tried to record a little bit. I think I got caught the, the end of it when I was asking him how much he wanted for it. He said 20 bucks, so I just paid him that. There weren't any games with it, but he had the system, had the power cord, the AV cable, and Four controllers so there's a black controller yellow controller there's like the purple or like the clear and the gray oh man look at that joystick that thing is loose 
If you ever go to sell N64 controllers, a good selling point is a nice joystick because the gamers do not want that joystick to be super loose like that because it's really kind of hard to play with. What you want it to be, kind of have like some response to it. So like I pull it over and it kind of goes back into place. So that'll definitely hurt the value on this one. Luckily, I think I have one or two in 64 games in my eBay store right now that I'm selling so I can test this thing out before I sell it. All right, maybe my coolest find of the day. Check this out. This is that big Santa sign that I bought. I paid 30 bucks for it. This thing is huge. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell scale wise, but it's like three feet tall. I found one online that somebody listed on eBay and it didn't look exactly the same, but it was very close. They said theirs was from the 50s. It was made of celluloid. They were asking like $1,500 or something, but theirs was in like perfect condition. Mine obviously is not. Looks like it had some wiring at some point, so it probably lit up, but the plug is broken off of it. It is double-sided. I'm gonna have to give this thing a really good cleaning. But yeah, I just don't know much about this thing. I don't even know how to tell if it really is celluloid or if it's just plastic. It feels plastic. Honestly, I don't know the difference between plastic and celluloid, so I'll have to do a little bit of research on that. But I'm going to clean them up, list them for maybe $300 or something. I actually showed this to Ronnie Hart, Hart's Pickers, and he deals a lot with signs, so he kind of gave me a little bit of advice. But I know one thing, I do not want to ship this. So I'm going to list it locally, and hopefully somebody bites. Maybe if I have to hang on to it till Christmas, so be it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.